Newson quick out of the blocks as expected. Jenica tries to go with her to her inside. Also hurtling well, Vidya to Trad. But at the front of the field, well clear and very precise in her movement. Sally Pearson, the silver medals will take this heat out very comfortably. 12.96 for the season. Virginia Trad will cross second in front of Jenica of New South Wales. Turn out quickly for the West Australian Institute of Sport will lead them over the second flight. Chasing with her Lucy Turpin, New Caledonia. And in the second place now be Fiona Morris and the New Zealander. Two flights of hurdles are made in McCann. The West Australians clear will take out the second heat comfortably. In front of New Zealand's Fiona Morris in 1391. Slightly slower than the first heat taken out by Sally Pearson. Introducing our competitors from lane one. one. Silver medal in the national head title for Victoria Ashley Hamilton. Lane, lane two from New South Wales, Wales, Madeline Powell. Lane three from the Western Australian Institute of Sport, Shannon McCann. Lane four, Olympic, Olympic silver medalist, Commonwealth champion, already two-time national champion in 2011, from Queensland, Sally Pearson. Lane five from New Zealand, Fiona Morrison. Lane six from Queensland, Virginia Trad. Lane seven from New South Wales, Tara Hulse. And in lane eight, from New South Wales, Youth Olympic Games silver medalist, Michelle Jenicki. The year eight start is the women's 100 metre hurdles final. Pearson quick away, sharp over the first barrier. McCann trying to go with it to the outside. Jenicky, the youth Olympic gold medalist, off to a flyer. But Pearson's clear. McCann chased in second. But two flights remain, and this is history, ladies and gentlemen. Sally Pearson will take three national titles in 2011. A rare treble not done since 1968. Shannon McCann will sneak into the silver medal position. 12.85 unofficially. Another world championship qualifier for the Queenslander, Sally Pearson. Now three victories here at the Australian Championships. You must be satisfied with that, Sally. Yeah, I'm actually a bit emotional. It was a pretty hard three days. Um, I'm glad I've come out on top and running 12.85 for my 23rd race of the season. So I'm pretty happy with that. And was your idea to just take a bit of pressure off this domestic season leading into World Championships by doing these three events and focusing on something different? Yeah, I think so. I just... You know me, I like a challenge, and this was definitely going to be a challenge. Seven races in three days, and I'm glad it's all come together. My body isn't hurting at the moment, and I'm sure it will be in a couple of hours. And do you have a sense of history? Uh, do you know about Pam Ryan and her three victories back in 1968? Yeah, definitely. I've heard about that, and she actually did five events at that competition, so that's probably even more of a feat than what I've done. So, But I'm... This is what I wanted to do. I've come here for a challenge and I've done it. And on a historical night of athletics too, I mean, it's the last time everyone's going to be racing here. And this is the first place that I did my first national record in the under 16 90 metre hurdles. So it means a lot to me. And um, Pam uh, won the 80 metre hurdles and the 100 and the pentathlon. Maybe we'll see you try a multiple event in the future. I don't think so. I'm not tall enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the three-time national champion history in the making here, Sally Pearson.